Over the past several months, the city has lost two businesses to Adams and a third the Main Street stage is planning to head, head south within the coming months. While the businesses have moved for various reasons, including increased rent, what incentive can the city offer to either local landlords or business owners to attract more small businesses to the city? Well, you know what you have to understand is that one side of Main Street is practically owned by one landlord. We have no control over that. What the city has done, and, and I always say, look at the north side, where I have a very close working relationship with Neil Ellis and, uh, and the First Hartford Group. They're flourishing over there. They're a new store that's going to be opening up over there next to the, uh, to the garden center within the next two weeks. An announcement will be made there. They're stepping in to, to, to save the theater. They're working. I can't control what happens on the other side of the street. I can tell you what we have done and look at the improvements for people to, to think back. We redid Veterans Memorial Drive, I believe, five or six years ago in which we created the Veterans Memorial. We shrunk the number of uh, the, the width of the highway. We got the landlord to fix the back of the property to make improvements. We've done all those things, but, and we've also created a new housing element in the downtown where you have condos selling for over $300,000, $250,000, and so on and so forth. The downtown is not going to come back, and I'll maintain this, and I've said this all over the country when I speak to various communities. You have to create a neighborhood in your downtown. It is slowly happening. When that happens, the best neighborhoods in this world are located right in New York City. Everybody knows everybody, and that's how you revitalize your downtowns, whether it's North Adams, whether it's Pittsburgh, or whether it's Lowell, Massachusetts. That's what you have to do. Bring that housing to the downtown, then you're going to see a flourishing, but with it you have to have the arts and the cultural attractions with it. It's all part of a very simple game plan. When that continues to happen, you're going to see that small butcher shop, that small wine and cheese shop, whatever it may be, starting to open on the main street. And you're going to see more and more traffic, and it's going to start to look like a downtown Stockbridge, which attracts more people to their, to their stores, yet we had more visitors in North County this weekend than what they did. So it's a game plan that's there. I'm hopeful it'll work. I think it's the only success to the downtown is you have to have that strong housing component to it. I think a good part of this, I think I have to, in a sense, agree with the mayor, but there will be a couple of points. Um, Mr. Ellis has been a, a great, a great uh, neighbor and a great investor in the city of North Adams. I had the pleasure of meeting him a couple years ago through United Way, and uh, he's done a great job over there. The issue with that development is, and I still think when it goes all the way back to Kmart, is the fact that unless you know it's there, you don't know it's there. Uh, if I were Neil Ellis, uh, what I would have required as part of that project is to have a nice sign uh, at the foot of the bridge on Route 8 so that when people are coming in, and I mean a sign, a sign that says, and I don't remember what the, the, the winning name was for the plaza, but I think it was the Steeple City Plaza, um, and, and have a big sign there that shows Peebles and Cinemas and Olympia and everything else uh, next right so that people can identify coming in on Route 8 that there is a shopping plaza in North Adams because, again, unless you know there's a movie theater there, you don't know there's a movie theater there. So I think one of the things we need to do is really allow Mr. Ellison some, um, some levity there to be able to do that. I think the downtown, we need easier processes in our downtown, easier permitting in our downtown, allow more creativity. Allowing more creativity in our downtown is a, is a, 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 a grand thing that will help uh, create our, as the mayor says, neighborhoods and create a services-based downtown. Thank you. No, I, um, I, I think that what, what has to, when you, when you talk about the permitting process, and, and again, another criticism that we've heard, 95% of all applicants that go before the North Adams Planning Board are passed in one meeting, 95%. Those that don't pass are usually because there's neighborhood opposition and other concerns about it. That's why we have it in place. But you know what? Drive around the city. See the beautiful projects that have been constructed. Look at, remember what the, uh, the, uh, the big Y used to look like? Remember what the, uh, the, the, even the Stop and Shop project? They wanted to put in a very poorly constructed project. We said no, we set our standards higher, and I'm proud of the work that the Planning Board does. And I'll tell you, we're very fortunate to have such dedicated volunteers in this city. <laughs> 